Have you ever been in a situation when you're trying to watch your Netflix while also doing your reading and research and trying to figure things out and trying to multitask at the same time, but you only have one screen? Have you ever wanted to figure out how to have the picture-in-picture -picture option where you can be reading and doing work while checking out things in the bottom? Well, I have the tip for you, especially if you use Google Chrome. Let's check it out. So if you look up here on my screen, I've got a lot of extensions and tools, but there's one I have right up here. It's a square with a little tiny black square inside for the picture-in-picture. -picture. And this is the tool that's going to allow you to have a picture-in-picture -picture on your screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Chrome store. And if you search for just picture-in-picture, you're going to come across this option down here in the extension called picture in picture viewer and you're going to want to go ahead and click add or add to chrome i already have it installed so that's why i have the rated right thing and once it's added this extension does have one extra step in it that most other extensions don't have once you have it installed go ahead and click on the title here and you're going to see this website right here we're going to want to go through and just copy that you want to go in your browser and paste that in there and there's a bunch of different options and the only one that you have to look for is to enable panels so I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, command F here on the Mac I'm gonna type in panel it's gonna find it for me and I have it right here you can just scroll down to it's this one here panels Mac Windows Linux Chrome and when you start it's on default you need to click enabled so let me show you what happens here when you go to switch it to enabled you're gonna get this relaunch now and what this is going to do is going to allow this extension to create panel windows outside your browser frame without doing that this extension doesn't work once you have that enabled you relaunch now it's going to close down your Google Chrome and then it's going to reboot it back up and then you're going to be in great shape and so, once again, you go to this website, you paste it in, all right, you make sure that it's enabled, right down here, if you just scroll down, and make sure it's enabled. When you do that, you click this relaunch now, it's going to close it, it's going to boot it right back up for you. And now, you're going to be able to have this show up. And here's what's awesome about this. You can now say, you're doing CNN, and let's go to my drive. So what I think is going to be really helpful with this tool, as a teacher, you're going to be able to watch a video. Um, you're going to be able to have another article up and do some work. And so let's say that I have this document here. And this is something that I'm working on either by myself or with teachers or with students or whatever it might be. I can now go and say I'm trying to use this, but I don't want to click back and forth. I want this kind of big screen. So now, once this extension is installed, I can click on this. And it's going to pop it up down here. Okay, so I just want to move this full screen um, before I had it just uh, marginalized to just uh, the internet. But now let's look at the full screen here. So if I go back to the CNN website, and let's say this is what I want down below. I'm just going to pop this up. Now I can sit here and I can do my work. I can now start to do my typing. I can scroll over here and check and read the article. I can take my notes. This is great for students as well. Say you're showing a YouTube video. You want them to watch a video. All right, so we've got this video here. Say you want to watch this, this line follow program. Hey, Boom, I'm going to boop this down. Okay, I'm just going to close out of this actually. I can while watch this video. And now I can have my document and say the kids are taking notes or they have their coding program up or whatever it might be. 
they can now watch this and make it happen. They can now multitask. So if you have a, a laptop or a Chromebook or whatever it might be, a surface where the screen isn't very big, this is huge. And so just think of all the ways in which this could be a benefit to learning for yourself, for your students, collaboration meetings, whatever it might be. I hope you found this tip helpful. Let me know how you would use it. Let me know what questions you have. And I would love to continue to learn from you as well. So leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe, and until the next episode, stay awesome. All right, and quick little coffee chug bonus tip. You should not do this because it doesn't lead to productivity because we all know multitasking doesn't work. But I also know that many of us multitask all the time. And so if you are a Netflix user with this tool, all right, as I showed in the beginning here, let me go ahead and pull this up. All right, and we're watching this. Okay, and I want this to be picture in picture. Here's what's going to happen. As you know, Netflix doesn't allow more than one browser tab to be shown on Netflix. So you get this error message down here. You got an X out of Netflix in your main browser. And then when you go back to browse, it'll actually pop up, and now you can watch it. So, if you're a multitasker, which I encourage you not to be, that's how you can use this extension to get your Netflix in while doing work. Just make sure you're doing work and not faking it.